Hey, Sagittarius, Everlong Mystic here. We are going to get a message for you. I'm going to use the Musical Alchemy of Astrology. <clears throat> We're going to get three of these cards and then use Tarot. And I'm totally feeling the crows lately, so... We've got the Murder of Crows Tarot and the Crow Tarot. Alright, Sagittarius, what do you need to know? Very interested to see what is going to come out for you. Because I don't, it doesn't, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that not, like, not every Sagittarius is on the same page, kind of. So I'm curious if um, we might have some, like, separate mini messages coming through, as opposed to one big message, but... We'll see. Wow. Moon in Cancer. Intuition initiations. So let's see, what does it say? Nurturing emotional charioteer, clearing noxious emotions, inner rhythmic currents, open veiled. Wow. Okay, so. Gosh, you know, like I kind of feel like some of you um, have uh, an aptitude to really get into this and I think others of you might be blocking this like on purpose <laughs> weird all right so wow this could get interesting okay let's see where is this gonna go I want to dive in I want to dive in all right, so intuition, initiations, clearing noxious emotions, open veiled. God, I, you know, like, I feel like it's pinned in some, like, something to do with your intuition or your kind of psychic connections. I feel like you're being pinned in on a certain area. But, like, for a reason. And I don't know if it's just, like, one of those things where it's, like, the goal is to unpin yourself. Or the goal is to see what you're meant to see. Because I'm... S you see how you've got this moon? It almost looks like there's a... Like a safety pin right here. Like the moon is inside a safety pin and you're meant to see something there, which is why you're pinned in. Do you see that? God, it looks like an owl. I mean, it, it, like this symbol with the cancer and the moon like that, it looks like an owl. You're meant to see something. It's like a way out. This feels like a way out. A way out of what? I don't know. Scooch these up. So there's room. So this strength card here. It kind of shows up as, like, the lion is not happy with something. Like, he is, 
like he's he's upset he's like going get these stupid flowers off of me or i'm not happy with this situation and you've got this crow up here with his foot on his eye like like forcing him to have his eyes closed almost like for like this forced intuition So some of you are struggling with that. Some of you are struggling with, like you're trying to find a way out of this being pinned in and like seeing something. And it could just be, it could just be noxious emotions that you want to run away from. But you're meant to see them. For some reason, this this raw power, the raw power of passion or your spirituality, it, you know, it's it's connected to what you're supposed to be seeing. It's like this big spiritual opportunity. that you're kind of locked into right now. And it could just be timing. It could just be where the planets are. I don't know. Yeah, it's totally linked to your happiness here, Sagittarius. Totally linked to your happiness. All right, we have Capricorn here. <clears throat> Cardinal, Cardinal Earth. The primal scream of creation. Oof, that sounds um, slightly uncomfortable, but, but hey, you know, <laughs> everything's got to start somewhere, right? So it says it's the oldest metabolic pathway, the fungus of all things, pure hell-born joy. Hmm, we got some joy over here. Fermentation, organic transformation. It's almost as if you're supposed to see something primal. It's weird. It's, it's almost like you're the opposite of, who was it? Libra. Because Libra had the moon taking... Capricorn out of the picture, like their logic, leave your logic at the door <clears throat> so that they can see something. You <clears throat> are being forced to see something. It seems like not forced. I mean, you're pinned in like you are, you know, like as if you were like kind of swaying here and there. And now like you hit it right, right on the nose. You're right there. It's right there for you to see it. It's the perfect opportunity to kind of jump in and check it out, right? And Capricorn showing up is like saying there is some kind of practical application in your life. Like it's worth it to take a look at. You don't want to, you don't want to run away from him. It just, it may not, it may not seem as if it is the most pleasant thing to do, though. That's, I don't know, if that feels like a catch. You know what I mean? Like there might be some um, humbling, humbling involved. All right, so we have the five of we have the five of pentacles here, and this is <clears throat> this has been coming across to me as a little bit victimy, um, seeing yourself as a victim, 
Seeing yourself as being attacked. Like this stuff is happening to me. But the way that like his hands are tied, it's like, I can't do anything. I just can't. It's, I can't, can't, can't. And um, <clears throat> it makes me think of something my mom used to tell like us kids when we were little. It's like, can't, never did anything and never will. <laughs> she didn't like it when we said can't. But it feels like that's like some kind of obstinate or stubborn stubbornness associated with this here. Oh, so we have the six of wands. And what I'm getting here is that um, Sagittarius, you do <clears throat> you do want to be free. <clears throat> you do want to be free of this. You want victory over this. Here, this feeling. Whatever this is for you. And what I like is that you, um, this horse right here, perfectly capable of jumping this fence. It's, it's a very low fence. It's not like, um, it's not like a huge mountain, right? And I think it has to do with being aligned aligned here like having this this being like it's almost like you're intuitive like everything's lined up for you to be intuitively like on point and but it's up to you to use it you know because even like when we're in rough situations or not the you know not not necessarily the best situation that you would hope for there's, I mean, sometimes there's something in there for you, though. There's something in there for you. Like a juicy bit, you know what I mean? So here we have the knight. I mean, the page. The page of wands. Where it's like, it's almost as if this ace of wands, like this new, this new wand, this new stick or whatever. It's like, it's, um, it's new to you. This is, this is new. It's like, it might take some time getting used to this, having this, like maybe this spiritual perspective on something. I mean, but you're holding it, right? You're holding it. Ooh, look at this. So we have the Seven of Cups, and this is such this is such a cool Seven of Cups card. Totally not like all the others. Because it's like it's like you're sitting down and you're having this conversation with spirit. It's like you're really like this is like really connecting like with your like your guardian angel or your main spirit guide or something like that and really, really having a heart to heart. And it's like you can still do that even though you're wearing, you know, you might be wearing some of your darkness still. And that's okay. It almost feels like it, it might be like like it's residue like it can be <clears throat> transmuted or cleared up or you know what I mean <gasps> look at you oh my gosh North Node I think Virgo did Virgo have this somebody had this um I like it I like it because this is where you're going this is uh, life's destined purpose where is life taking you? So it says, journeying ever onwards, faded lessons to learn. Now that could be something that you're dealing with right now, just some kind of faded lesson. That's like, that would explain this being like pinned into place here. <clears throat> like maybe being forced to look at something. It's like, it's time. 
this is the time that you're to do it kind of thing. <clears throat> it also mentions faith in the unknown. And that is something that, like for you, like some of, you know, some of you more um, book-oriented, logic-oriented Sagittarius, you know, that, that might be useful to have faith in the unknown. All right, so we got the dragon's head here. Let's see where, where is it gonna take you? <clears throat> where is the dragon's head taking Sagittarius? Where's Sagittarius going? LOL, I just heard to the moon to the moon and back. That's hilarious. Okay, let's see. The world! I mean that could definitely be to the moon and back. <laughs> wow. Alright, so I mean like just for <clears throat> I mean this may not relate to everyone, but I mean it could it could be travel. I mean I'm seeing like I'm seeing travel here. But I'm also seeing a question as if, like, well, Sagittarius, where do you want to go? Where do you, where do you want to go? I mean, like, you're, you're journeying ever onwards, right? Where's, where's the next journey? <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. Like, if you could have a fresh start for anything... What would you want it to be? Because we have this Ace of Pentacles, that brain spank a new opportunity to change things, if you want to. Or to physically go somewhere if you want to. Looky here. So we have the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups, look, there's a little crab here, that's Cancer, and there is a moon, Cancer Moon, it's all related. It's like you can walk around, journey like a queen, with this new um, intuitive ability that you have, because you allowed yourself to clear some very noxious emotions. And even this card, it says intuition initiations. It's like you're being initiated. But it's all on purpose. Like an Ella, like it's time. It's the right time for this to happen. Because you, like, because your next journey, wherever your, your next thing is, it involves using this. Because you're, you're taking it with you, here. Yeah, you're holding it close. I'm just seeing this as <clears throat> kind of like very near and dear to you. This four of pentacles, it's like you see he's holding the pentacles to his, to his heart. And he's standing on the Ace of Pentacles, that, that opportunity. It's like taking what you've learned and keeping it close to you, taking what you've seen, or whatever, like maybe you've developed a skill and you're taking it with you on your next journey. All right, Sagittarius, so this is your message. Thanks so much for being here, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Sagittarius.